Hey folks, it's time for frugal prepper. It's Sunday morning. Today's my big 5-0 birthday. I'm 50. Um, just uh, checking out the garden this morning. I finally have it all planted out. I did go over some of these weeds, but I still have a few more little ones I need to go over here with my little tool to get those killed while they're still small. But, uh, once these grow up and get big, it won't be a problem. The plants will block out the lights of the weeds. Uh, but yeah, everything's looking good here. These are my spaghetti squash. Now, during the heat of the day, spaghetti squash especially, but cucumbers and all kinds of squash can do it. These leaves will wilt back. <laughs> and they'll look like you're like, oh, my plant needs water. It's dying. No, these, that's just the way these plants protect themselves from the full-on sunlight and the heat of the day is they wilt their leaves and the leaves get all droopy. But then overnight and in the morning, you can see they come right back. Um, it's just, just the nature of the plant. Um, so today, I'm going to try to cut all this grass down again and then probably get my tarp stretched out here. To cover the grass so that when these grow out i might not put the tarp down yet but i'll have to in the next couple weeks because these will grow up and start hanging off, off the bed there's my asparagus i'm not eating it yet but i have asparagus i'm just letting it grow let's see there's a a good piece that one's a little beyond picking but like that little one down there big going to pick <laughs> if you're going to eat it i i do like asparagus i have it sometimes um all my peppers so i have the six peppers oh how happy gardener gave me i got a sweetie mix a jalapeno some other peppers um at the pendleton store and then all my banana peppers uh, the six of them are these six down these are the ones i like that oh happy gardener gave me and then from here forward um Got some hot chili peppers, some jalapenos, a sweetie mix or two. They're just some other peppers I grabbed yesterday. So they're all ready to go. Um, these are my other five celebrity tomato plants that I transplanted from downstairs. They're still a little young yet, especially that one. But I decided to just go ahead and put them in the ground and let them get out here in the real sun. You can see their leaves are angling over towards the sun. They're already happy. I transplanted them yesterday. I put a little plant chocolate down. Everything's happy after the transplant. So um, that plant chocolate really helps, which is nitrogen. It's calcium nitrate, by the way. It's calcium and nitrogen. And this looks good. I went through and weeded my onions yesterday. And uh, these are my tomato plants that, that grow up. So they'll wrap around the string. All my cucumbers are in. Uh, the beans, I'm going to have to replant some beans. So this is the area where I had the burlap that was really old and had holes in it. They did not germinate as well. And uh, they, they, they did germinate other places. These are my northern beans or my... Uh, I call them northern beans because they're a white bean, like a northern bean, but they're actually blue lakes. And then from like here down, it's Kentucky Wonder. So I'll have to go downstairs and get some seeds and replant these today because it has been one week since I planted them. And I got some that did not germinate under that burlap where the seed rolled. I still have a few just coming up. Like there's two right there that just came up. So the other ones could still come up, but... We'll stick a couple extra seeds in the ground just to make sure. And if we have extras that germinate or whatever, we can always prune them. Um, but yeah, everything's looking pretty darn good. Um, you know, I got my watering system set up. I think I left the hose on, so this morning. But I'll just show you how this works. So um, I'll put a link to the video where I built this many years ago. But this is part of the mitt lighter system. And it just hooks up to the hose right there. And then it squirts down water. And it waters my plants. And sometimes it gets a little like that and you just have to hit it. 
I usually hit it with the hoe and that gets it all going, but it'll build up pressure and come clear back around. It's just building up its pressure here. But what's that out? This is my butternut squash and that's my table queen squash and the rest of these are all spaghetti squash. But yeah, so it just puts out three little streams of water every so often. And that way when these plants get really big, let me shut this off here. That way when these plants get really big, I don't have to walk into them to water them. I still have to walk into them to give them the weekly feed, which those need fed today. But that's only once a week, right? So I'm not trying to walk through those vines all the time. They mostly grow out that direction, but a couple of them will hang over here as well, probably. I'll try to keep picking them up and moving them to go that way. And I'll move my truck too, so that more sunlight will hit them in the morning, and that'll help. But yeah, because the sun, they get the most sun out that way, because it comes up and over the house this way. And then it hits this tree line back here in the evening, so it doesn't get as much sun uh, from about six o'clock on right so yeah we're doing good everything's looking fine but uh i got to get some boards out and start to reinforce these t-frames they're starting to lean a little like the old ones were they're still pretty strong but i'm just going to get a board out and come at an angle here and angle it down at that one and just brace them up I don't want them to fall over like the other ones did, which are now behind my shed. I used to have a set of T-frames on this bed too. They fell over, took out my fence. <laughs> you know? And I don't grow as much vertical stuff as I thought I would. So really two beds without T-frames is fine. And then one 20 foot bed with T-frames is, is perfect for me. So I don't think I'm gonna add any more T-frames, but... Um, I still kept the old ones because even though they had snapped off on the bottom, even though they snapped off on the bottom, I can still cut that and leg bolt a new piece of wood on it and stick them back in the ground at some point if I want to. So, but it also like messed up the edges of most of the boards and stuff when they fell. So there's that, but it's all good. Yep, everything's looking happy. I got a dandelion right there. I have to get out here and get that out. But, yeah, everything's looking pretty good. All right, I was just an update on my garden and how it's coming. I'll try to do these pretty often, you know, show you how the plants grow. Um, also, I have a garden live stream camera um, on my website. It's uh, frugalprepper.rocks. And it just runs off of my wise camera with a special RTSP firmware on it. So you can come out here and see it. But my garden live stream camera is over here on the corner of my shed. I'll come up and say hi once in a while. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that aims out over the garden. Um, it, it lights up well at night. I have my mercury light up there. And then I have a big bright LED light on my shed. And the bug zapper lights up at night too. Um, but yeah, that that will all work. These are my ever-bearing raspberries. I need to weed these, but they put on a ton of raspberries every year. These are a nice red ever-bearing raspberry. But you can see they're, they're growing. And then I have a wild blackberry bush up there that's grows blackberries so um and i do eat those once in a while when they come in season so yeah all right i'll talk to y'all later this is tom your frugal prepper